Lexi. We always talk about how crazy it is that we found each other. How we both started in different parts of the world. You in tiny Dover Foxcroft, which I didn't know was a place, and myself in Afghanistan. When I really think about it, I can't believe how incredibly meant to be this is. How many ways we could have missed each other. You being born in Kabul, me being born in a small main town, both of us making all these little decisions, starting out across the world from each other, both almost going to different colleges, having different interests and majors, yet we still found each other. Our lives are made up of all of these seemingly insignificant choices, but so many of them were leading me to you in this beautiful life that we're building. I still remember one of the first times I saw you, I waved to you in a typical Lexi fashion. You looked around to see who I waved at. And if you recall, you were sitting alone at that table. Over the next few weeks, we started talking more and I got this immediate attraction to you. I remember one day I ran by you and I made a stupid joke in which you replied, I hate you. My response to that at the time was, I love you too. It was a joke reply, but for some reason felt very natural. Over the next five years together, we have learned to love, cry together, laugh together, and most importantly, that it takes a lot of compromising in a relationship. I have loved every single memory we have made so far and will love and cherish everyone that we create from this point on. When I was younger, my grandma, my BB John, would always tell me that I was going to end up marrying the most prettiest and kind-hearted girl. I bet you right now she's up there in heaven bragging to all my grandparents that she was right. All the decisions we've made has led us to this wonderful point in life where we turn the page and start a beautiful new chapter. Lexi, today we say I do, but to us that means I will. I've had people ask me how I know you're the one. It took a while to find the right words, but over time I have figured it out. Everyone who knows me knows that I crave safety and comfort. There is this moment every night where I can take a deep breath and know everything will be okay. When you walk through the door, our house becomes a home. With all that being said, I promise to spend the rest of my life trying not to take all that for granted. I promise to love you on the days when you can't love yourself. I promise to spend every day bettering myself to give us the best life possible. I promise to always use you as a personal heater when my theater holds <laughs> and ask a million questions during movies. And most importantly, I promise to continue building a life we love and can't wait to get home to. I love you with my whole heart, with the passion so big that can't be put into words, but only with kisses, adventures, show binges, and most importantly, cuddles with you and Q. I love you, and I'm happy that I found you. So this isn't going to be easy. We're going to have to work at this every day, but I truly think we are worth that. And there will be days where it won't be 50-50, so I promise to lift you up on the hard days and give you 90 when you can only give 10 because I know you will do the same. As I stand here in front of all our closest friends and family and say I do, I really mean I will. I will honor you, protect you, and spend forever loving you because the best is yet to